Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Interstage Window. My Saturday scene went to the stream with my friends. And oh my God, you guys, Kitty is on camera today. Say hello to her beautiful face. Oh my gosh. And here's Kendra <laughs> right on time. Kendra, hello. Oh, wait, she can't hear us yet. She's still connecting to audio. Um, okay, let me catch up on the chat while, Ken while Kendra's connecting. All right. Hello, Lunar. Hello, Luna with the first. Kendra, hello, Kendra. Yay, Kendra, by, by the way, Kitty decided she wanted to do camera today since it's special occasion for my birthday. If you want to do camera, <gasps> you can too, but no pressure. So you do not have to. So, oh my God, they're both on Yay. camera, you guys. Both my That's... beautiful friends. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> All right. Hello, Lunar. Oh Thank you so much for the so happy cute. birthday. Thank you for the first. Thank you, Koneko. Oh, thank you for lurking today. Thank you. Hello, Noms. Hello. Noms, we got to someday Hi, get Noms. you playing um, play Stardew with us, right, guys? Yes. yes. Someday. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Someday. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. How, how's y'all's week been? Uh, <laughs> I just want to go see Barbie. <laughs> oh, my God. When are you going to go see it? Are you going to go see it in the theaters? I want to. I just have to find a way to get my butt into the theater mm -hmm. it's hard all right steam we're gonna go see it on um on monday so i will i will I'm report so to jealous. The, i'll report to the the cafe to tell you guys how it was i've heard that it's good um i also heard that it's making um conservatives on the internet mad which makes me even more excited no. yeah i was just yeah. saying good great <laughs> yeah. yes they're i know like, oh it's I... they're like oh it's woke i was like oh good I love it's that. woke. Oh no, Ken's not an important part of the movie. It's reverse <laughs> sexism, and I'm like, it's the name of the movie is Barbie, right? Like, I don't right. understand what you thought was going to happen in a Barbie movie. <laughs> hey, Alpha Tip, thank you so much, and thank you so much. I seen all your happy birthdays, you guys. Thank you. I hope I caught everybody's name to say hello. Um, yeah, like, how dare the Barbie movie be from a female perspective? The fuck. <laughs> Yeah, how dare it be a female movie? <laughs> the heck! I'm so I glad they got Ryan Gosling to do it too, because he has had too. the perfect Ken energy. For real? Oh my god! I just I've seen I, I I've not I've tried not to look at anything since the actual release, so I don't really know how the movie is. I assume oh, it's good, man. but I watched like all the trailers. I saw all the I read all the interviews beforehand. Like, and um, Ryan Gosling is just a gem. Like everything that he's mm -hmm. the movie. I keep it keeps coming up on my TikTok and I keep having to like scroll way past. Like, yeah, please, please. Yeah, yeah. Don't spoil me. <laughs> yeah, it's been coming up a bit on my husband's TikTok too. And but the only one he sent me was the one that had a compilation of like tweets from conservative politicians about how angry they are that the movie is woke. And he was like, he was like, he was like, you won't believe this shit. And he linked it. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> Like, it's crazy. I, it's ridiculous. Okay, really ridiculous. I One of them was like, they say the patriarchy about 10 times unironically. And I'm like, great. Perfect. Yeah. I love uh -huh. this. That's why I'm I so want to go see. Let's go. I'm so excited. It's, that's not an ironic thing to say. Like, what? what I don't understand. That's just a word. I don't understand either. And I had thought, I had thought like woke was their code word for being racist, but apparently it's their code word for being misogynist too. So I learned something new about conservatives um, the other day, oh, which was great. Yeah, um, love that for me. <laughs> you guys it's, ready to play uh, some Stardew? Anything they don't agree with. Yes, I guess so. Um, are you guys ready to play some Stardew? We're gonna we're gonna do that. We can Someday. continue talking about the Barbie movie, but let me go. Let me launch the game. All right, you guys. Um, let's go uh here we go co-op <clears throat> we're gonna host down on a farm yay yay all right let me get you all the code so that you can get into the game as soon as it decides to load come on as game you can steam do it lets me in right come on steam let me you can in. do it steam <laughs> oh, you can do it okay here we go let me go in oh not exit it's the options uh, let's see. Show invite code. All right, I'm pasting it into the Twitch chat. Do y'all need it in the Discord chat too? I'm good. You're good. Okay, I Kendra, you got well. it. Okay. All right, yeah. there we go. All right, and if if anybody else wants to play too, 
here's like here's like how we play. Here's our Stardew Doc, and you're welcome to get in the Discord. And it's the you want to get the the farmer optional role, and that'll let you into the channel that tells you all the things about if like if you want to get in the Zoom or whatever with us. So yeah, and that's what we're doing for our first part of our stream today is playing some Stardew. Yay! Yay there's Kitty. I'm so close on my personal account to completing the game with perfectionism. Oh my gosh. I saw you got all the recipes achievement the other day. I saw that pop up on my Steam and I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> yes. I just have to have um, all the hearts with all the people. Oh. And then I think I'm done. Oh, wow. That is kind of difficult. That is kind of difficult. We're almost done with our community center, you guys. We only need the red cabbage, which I guess we have to wait till <gasps> summer to get. Yeah. From what I remember Googling Weird. last time. Yeah, so... So right now we're just trying to like make money, I guess, and um, and reach. And I know that I need to get better on my um, on my combat before we go into Skull Cavern. But yeah, I guess I should that was the mines. Was that the uh, combat what we were working on last time? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. Because we just need, need to work we just on need my farming money and level too. Ups. Farming, you said. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I won't go into the greenhouse and do that stuff then. You're welcome to go, like, farm in the greenhouse so you can get those points. Because I think my farming's pretty good. My farming's at eight, yeah, so I'm pretty good with that. Okay, let's see. And by the way, for everybody, a couple of things. Um, the bar, it says we have seven subs this stream. That's not true. Stream Elements is broken for me and I can't reset it. That's from last weekend. So we actually have zero right now. So just pretend that's not full. And um, for, for this weekend, instead of doing pins for, for subs and stuff, we're going to do a bean boozled, okay? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to eat disgusting jelly beans. I'm very for excited. For our entertainment. I love yes. it. Yes. <laughs> I'm very excited. Uh, when we did it before for the 400 celebration, there was some gross as fuck jelly beans. I like how you're not being wasteful with them. Like, you know they're gross. Club but you're still going to keep using them. That's right. Underscore. Oh my gosh. Whatnot. Lunar starting us out strong. How many is this? This Ooh. is five. Holy shit. I have to Club eat five jelly beans, you guys. Entertain me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my Stardew lagging the fuck out? I don't know. I don't know either. My Stardew is so laggy. I might I need to read. With... I might need. Is it laggy for you, Kitty? Club underscore uh, no, I was just going to say about the bean boozled that I feel like real. the bad ones taste exactly like what I would expect their bad, like, booger or barf, and I just Club don't know how they got it so good. Yeah, I don't either. It's reading. disgusting. It's disgusting. Okay, that's the, that's the bottom. So we did reach the bottom of the mines. Yes, we did reach the bottom of the mines. Did you put the code into... Yeah. I put it into the Twitch chat. Do you want me to put it in the Discord? Please, yes. Okay. I didn't have Twitch open. Okay, okay. I got At you. At the time you did, so you, it's just you. lost. Okay. Yeah, it scrolled way past. Okay. Gone forever. Yep. Let's see if I can if right. I can type right. Oh my goodness. Why is I'm on Matt's computer and opening stardew it just said hey stream to your friends it <laughs> spawned into his discord oh my god so i'm sitting here going i could stream to like all our high school friends right now this would be oh great. my god mine's next rp vibes oh my god yes i yes. love it i'm so sad that i couldn't stay in the in the game of thrones rp i'm so sorry you guys really i just got it's i okay. couldn't handle it I couldn't. I want it because okay. I want to read everything, and it, I realized that I couldn't. It has slowed down. Gnomes is. We've been chatting about what the next project is going to be. Yeah. And we've How been far working did you guys Yeah. Like, what's the story like? Uh, right now, Kyle died. Kyle died. Kyle died. Um, oh. in attorney accident. No. Yeah, he a splinter from one of the lances went into his artery, and he just died. I I feel so powerful. <gasps> the heck! Feel so powerful. Wait, so your character? Your who? Like who? 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 Splinter was it? Like who did it? 
Godric, I don't think Godric was around when you were there. Mm-hmm. Um, one of one of Colin's characters. Oh my Colin god, I'm s- very graciously agreed to that plot line. I'm so I'm happy so for so Colin. Me Colin too. Was, Colin's amazing. He's great. Yeah. Okay. All right, Lunar. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do the let's do the beans. Bean, I'm trying to remember bean, how bean, I'm bean. supposed to do this contraption. I think. Do I just twist? No, I put. I do like this. Okay, well, three of them came up, so we're going to do these three, and then we're going to do two more. We're keeping Cullen? Yes. Cullen um, Cullen needs to get in the cafe so that he never loses track of us, or, like, y'all need to put him on your friends list. Like, whatever we need to do, he's awesome. Okay. I know. I, we keep saying, like, hey, the cafe. Hey, this. Yeah, hey, like, that. don't lose track of us, Cullen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a bat. Bat, I'm trying to, I'm trying to entertain the peoples. Go away. Okay, so <laughs> this one is either rotten egg or buttered popcorn. I don't like buttered popcorn flavor anyway, so let's see how this goes. Oh, God. I love buttered popcorn it's buttered flavor popcorn. jelly beans. Okay. That's buttered popcorn, thank God. I don't okay. really like it, but it's buttered popcorn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I should palate cleanse in between each of them. You're wrong, but that's okay. Are we selling the mayonnaise? Yeah. Yes. Okay. This next one is either dirty dishwasher or birthday cake. Let's hope it's birthday cake. Oh, fingers crossed. It's not birthday cake. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh. Hmm. It tastes like a mix between soap and toothpaste. Oh, oh my god. Not good. Just bad. That's mm. just bad. Oh, that was disgusting. Okay. Oh, that's probably the worst one I've had so far, even from like last time too. Okay, this next oh. one I think is either cappuccino or liver and onions. I've actually had liver and onions before and I don't mind it. So this one might not be too bad. Let's see. Liver and Oh, but it's cappuccino. Oh, okay. There's cappuccino. Thank God. That's better. Yeah. yeah I love cappuccino. Gosh. Birthday luck. Mm-hmm. Okay. We yeah, need two hopefully. more. Hopefully. Uh, okay. You're so brave. Thank you. <laughs> it's all for you guys. It's because I love you. All right. Here's the next two. This one is either stink butter or toasted marshmallow. Okay. Ew. Wait. Let me palate cleanse the cappuccino for maximum effect. Stink bug. Mm-hmm. Hey. What? Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll see we'll see what that we'll see what that's like okay i assume it's like when you step on one sure. and that smell i assume that's what that's what the flavor is going to be if it's stink bug it's just bad oh regardless of whatever that is that's just bad. oh god <coughs> oh no stink bug uh-huh <laughs> Ew. i'm dying oh god i'm dying oh. i can't swallow it i you did this to yourself oh like i don't Mm. Oh, that was disgusting. Okay. <laughs> um, last, last for you, Lunar. Toothpaste or berry blue? Okay, I don't mind the flavor of toothpaste, so this will be okay. It's toothpaste, but it's not bad. It's toothpaste, so but it's not bad. That's, more. that's not worst. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, it's just like it's just like kind of bad mint. Oh no! Five more, girl. <laughs> girl. Yes. All right. <laughs> My eyes are watering. <laughs> I'm tortured. I mean, that's the point, right? I mean, that was the point. That was the point. I was like, you know, it will be extra funny because I I can't I just can't do this all the time. It's too much. I'm like, I'm gonna do being boozled. It'll be it'll make it like good for my birthday. Um, you know, it'll be fun. And, Fine, uh, good. <laughs> I didn't think like Lunar would be like so so like awesome and poggers and like drop five immediately, but I should have known. It's lunar, what did you expect? I know what did. Wh- why didn't I know? You why should know better. I know? <laughs> but I didn't. I was dumb, D- naive. Yeah. So a little naive. bit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> It's me. I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're the best, girl. That's why you're the best. Yeah. Always the problem for us. And then we get Schoedenfreuder. Is that how you say it? <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. I do not. I do not Freudenfern. recommend being boozled game to anybody. Actually. No. <laughs> it's not a good game. <laughs> I. It 
Sounds like just a way to hurt yourself. Uh, yes, for other I feel... people's enjoyment. And I do feel I hurt. I love people, but I don't love anybody that much. <laughs> oh, I love you guys that Sorry. much. I do. I do. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm like for real crying now because I was already tearing up from the fucking stink bug. <laughs> Uh, was serving dinner, which one was the worst? Dish, dirty dishwater, stink bug. Oh my god. Oh. I, that was the one I gagged on, right? Yeah. Was the yeah. one I think you couldn't finish. I, I had to like drink, I couldn't swallow it. I had to like trick myself into Ugh. swallowing it like a pill. Like I, I had to drink my, my, uh, LaCroix here. Thank you. Thank you, LaCroix. Mwah, love you. <laughs> I hope I don't get a stink bug one again. Oh. You poor soul. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. She did this herself. I did. I mean, I made the choice. It's, it's yes. all me. This was a conscious effort. Yeah, I knew it could be bad. I knew it could be bad because I had done a few of them during the, the 400 week. And um, so, like, I knew what I was doing. And I, I made the decision anyways. Suffer for your heart. Right? I'm suffering. I'm suffering. Maybe another day I can send I can send a jar to to Kitty and Kendra and convince them to go on this adventure with me. Maybe I can send I some to Landon. It. You would do it, but I do have a really bad gag reflex, so yeah, we might I have I, a I, different kind of stream. I'll have to check if it's okay to throw up on Twitch. Does it do a span <laughs> throwing? Up? Oh my gosh! Hey, how are you today? It's your birthday today. It is. Oh my gosh. Hi, Eliza. Want to sing the song? I'm going to just sing your happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. 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 Eliza, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Don't close the door, kid. Close the door, kiddo. I'm not going to forget. It's Kitty Grace's birthday. Okay, and it's Kitty Grace's birthday today. Okay, hi. Kendra, that was so sweet. Thank she you. She was very excited when she heard it was your birthday this morning. Oh <laughs> like, my okay, gosh, does she, does she know that she's our favorite NPC? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Um, she's her own favorite NPC. Oh, I guess she doesn't <laughs> need to know, character. huh? She doesn't need to know. She's the main character of her life. Like, that's fine. She's oh, trying to convince me to take her to go see the Barbie movie, too. Oh, you should. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if she has a hard time sitting through any movie, period. Oh, oh shoot. And it's real people. And it's PG-13. Well, <laughs> and I'm just sitting here going, like, I don't know how much I want to explain to her right now. Well, I will when I go see it, um, I'll let you know how PG thirteen it is versus yeah. yeah, like I can I'll let you know. So then you can decide um what you want to do. Yeah. Because if if I could take her with me, then I would just have to get somebody to watch Lucas. Yeah. And that's easy peasy. Yeah. But I don't I know. My sister saw saying. it and she was like, Oh yeah, it's fine. I mean there were a couple of words. I was like, I don't think you realize how much Eliza says. Eliza said, oh, can we say what Eliza had said? Did I tell you guys what Eliza told Lucas the other day? No, what? Um, the, no, I did. I did. The, the tough titties little kitty. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, she's repeating things. And can you remind everyone how old Lucas is? <laughs> Lucas is... Eight months old. Uh huh. Uh huh. And Eliza <laughs> oh, says this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've heard it's likely yeah. for kids more than anything, as the humor would go over their heads. Ah. I I think that it it doesn't look like a kid movie, and it everything that I've read makes me think that she would be bored because she's bored in Disney movies. She can't sit through. Oh. She had a hard time sitting through the Mario movie. Oh, really? And oh, like, wow. she really wanted to see that. It's just, it's too long for her to sit and focus on one thing. She just doesn't she have, can't... her attention span's just not there yet. 
it, it's never going to be there. Um, you have which to watch is movies fine. at home. Some people just have to yes. watch movies at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Where they're able to stand up and walk around, where they're able to talk through it, where whatever, where they can pause it and come back the next day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love that we're all just sleeping in Karen's house. <laughs> <laughs> just, okay, time to start the day. Duh. <laughs> so, and it's like, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just how yeah. it is for some people, you know, and that's just how they have to live. My it's little sister is like that. I, I couldn't believe that she went to go see it. She still hates movies. Like, she never would fit for anything. Yeah, I understand. Um, I understand. But the reason why I'm wondering if some kids would be cool with the Barbie movie, because um, because it looks like it's for older kids, I feel like for yeah. some kids, they'd be able to, like, once they're old enough to sense, like, oh, this is like a big girl movie, like, that would be exciting for them. I think that for a lot of kids, that would be exciting, but... They still have, yeah, oh, to watch a movie in peace sounds like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic I, and Mario movies are the only ones Chris will watch from start to finish. Valid. Um, man, to be able to watch gosh. a movie in peace, the new Indiana Jones is so good. I heard it was so right. good, too. I heard the new Indiana Jones Thank was you. actually really good. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to put the milk back. Thank you. Go. There's a movie theater near where I am that during the summer, one day a week, they have kid theater that you can take yeah. the kids to the movies with you. It's so fantastic. And, and like, it's, it's like ex- a it's dollar. Ex- and it's like expected that there's going to be a lot of kids there and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. Love that. So the kids are allowed to talk and run around and, and you know, it's like, it's isn't it usually like a movie that came out like five years ago. It's an older movie. Yes. Mm. Mm. It's just to have the experience of want going to the movie theater, having an air conditioned place to be, which mm-hmm. is huge. And I'm just like, oh, this is a cool movie thing. I'm a big kid. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yeah, before stream, um, Kitty and I were talking about like how freaking hot it is. Um, oh, I don't no. know. I don't know what your part of the country is like right now, Kendra. Bad. But I would, I, yeah, just I would, love, I would love to hear in um in a second to tell everybody like. This, I swear to God, like it's always hot and humid. I swear it's always hot and humid. But this summer, like mm-hmm. in every summer for the past like five or six years, I've been like, this is the worst, hottest, most humid summer ever. And again, it's the worst, most it's hotted, most gonna humid get summer ever. Worse. Yeah. It's not going to get better. Yeah. Did you hear about this wet bulb thing? There, I mean, worst name Excuse ever, me? but did you hear about this? You know what this is? <laughs> no. Okay, so you can so I'll tell you about it, and then you can tell me if this is like if this seems to have anything to do with what's going on where you are. So it's so it's, depressing. Yeah, it's so it's a calculation based off of the heat and the humidity because depending mm-hmm. on what the heat and humidity is kind of like together and how they interact will depend on like how much sweat will evaporate from your body, right? Yeah. So it can be humid enough where a temperature of only 95 is too hot. And that means that like the sweat's not gonna evaporate enough yeah. to where like if you are at risk for heat stroke, then you shouldn't go outside, right? Mm-hmm. And it can only, it can be like only 95 degrees or something that's like, it's hot, but like it's not that hot, you know? Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> for yourself, Jeez. And so like, that's like popping up everywhere. Yeah, um, are you having like guys having hard. crazy humidity up there like that? Like, has that been a thing? Yeah. it's it's been more humid this year than it has in the past and that's been really affecting a lot of the you know i'm in the family facebook post groups uh-huh. or whatever to try and you know get inexpensive baby gear <laughs> it, everyone is just like this we can't do this like this isn't safe for my three kids like mm-hmm. i know it's not it's just it's not safe mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and nobody here because it doesn't usually get this humid until Mm mid-august and by then you know people are wrapping up their summer activities Mm -hmm. it's only maybe two weeks of super humid yeah and they're getting ready to go back to school anyway so they're going shopping and stuff inside yeah and that's Mm -hmm. not the case but way more humid here than it has been in the past Which is has been okay because there hasn't been a lot of fires. Oh God, I just burped the stink bug. 
The gift that keeps giving. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Lunar. Thanks, Lunar. <laughs> you love oh, it. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, yes, I am that disgusted at what Kendra said about, like, what the moms are going through, but that's not why I made that face. Just want to make sure that's clear for you guys. <laughs> It's been so humid. I, I can't stand it. And we never get humidity. Like I actually moved away from Arizona and Florida mm -hmm. because I wanted a place that was colder and not yep. humid mm -hmm. combined. And mm -hmm. now I'm getting all the bad sides of that. It's a long Ugh. summer. It's so hot. It's like 67% humidity some days. No. 67%? That's crazy for your part of the country, I feel like. That's ridiculous. Yeah. No, and the, and we had the Canadian smoke, so, you know, we're yes. right by Canada. Mm -hmm. It's been so bad. Almost we, every day. Um, we saw some of that, too. I want to say it was, like, Thursday? Thursday, I think it was. Like, I, I swear, I thought I heard thunder, and then I looked outside, and it was kind of hazy. I was like, oh, it's going to rain. And then um, and then I got home, like, because I was at work, so, like, I wasn't even really thinking about, like, what I was looking at. I was just like, oh, I better make sure I have my umbrella, because what if it's raining when I walk yeah. outside? Well, no, that's not what it was. The sky was looking all jacked up because of the Canadian smoke. It reached all the way down here. Oh, my oh, gosh. Crazy. Yeah. Was it orange for you? Because it was, like, orange for mm -mm. us, like mm -mm. a movie. No, no, it didn't. No. <laughs> yeah. It looks like when they I mean, have Mexico in a movie, right? That's, I saw yeah. those pictures, but no, it was not um, orange for us. It was like gray, which is why I didn't register to me that it was smoke. I thought it was like clouds coming with rain, but no, it was smoke. No. I just didn't pay enough attention. I didn't look long enough at it because it wasn't orange. Um, yeah, no, it. Thankfully, this round of Canadian wildfires, the smoke hasn't traveled to this half yet. Mm -hmm. But the first half earlier this summer, we we got it too, and everyone was sitting, you know, watching the news. Like, excuse me, yeah, you're all the way on the other We're side. Not, yeah, heck? like, come on, ridiculous. But we usually do get some of the, their fires. They just have their fires on the other half. Mm -hmm. You don't normally get the East Coast fires. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But with the humidity, like that, that is the one nice thing is that there haven't been as many fires as there have been past years. That's true. That's true. The extra humidity means you don't really get fires. Because that's why we yeah. really don't get fires here because it's always humid as fuck. Mm. But, <clears throat> but, <laughs> the yeah. downside is that no one can breathe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, ugh. and y'all aren't used to it. So it's like, Oh. I don't like specifically don't want to move anywhere more south than where I'm at because I can't do humidity. Yep. Like this is ridiculous. I mean we've been yeah, joking for years. Yeah, I mean we've been joking for years, like, oh I live in the swamp or whatever. Haha, ha, swamp's coming to you guys, we're taking over. Swamp swamp yeah. country, <laughs> country of swamp. Everybody is Shrek. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to be all Everybody stars, is Shrek. Guys. Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey now, no. it's a wet bulb. Oh, no. <laughs> Get your game on, stay inside. Parody <laughs> intro of All Star, and it made everybody cry. It was so sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was just sad. It was a sad intro of sad stuff, and now I'm sad again. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's not so... trying to make people sad. Yeah, Just, well, you know, sometimes I think laughing at the sad things is funny. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's yeah. totally fine. <clears throat> You know, I mean, you can always just say tough titties, little kitty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a big deal. Oh, my God. When you tell that story later, after she's old enough to realize what that means, that's going to be so hey, funny. <laughs> if she says it again, I'm going to have to take her aside and be like, okay, do you know what this word means? Yeah, and she's going to probably think it's something about kitty cats and birds or something. I don't huh. know. She, like, she probably does not realize anything about the context. No. <laughs> Why would she? Other she than she know. knows that that's what Nomi says when she's disappointed something isn't going her way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. the context. Hi, kiddo. Um, it's just like, hey, tough. It's just the way things are. 
Well, That's I mean, the context she's, it's used in. I mean, she's not like, wrong. It's just that she's true. not right either. Yeah, it's just I'm not getting a phone call from her teacher. Because <laughs> she's school year. Hey, <laughs> hey. Come on. Do you know what your child said today? <laughs> I mean, let me take five guesses and tell me which one it is. <laughs> Gosh, she hilarious. Oh. Oh. I can't wait for the next one because you know once once you teach her that one and she's done with that one she's just gonna move on to the next one. There's, oh. I you know sure she I was telling Jane this the other day but she has a whole thing on her future with Harry Styles that's oh. just outlined in this beautiful fan fiction. Love it! <laughs> <Okay>. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm rooting for her. I'm rooting for her and Harry. I think she could really make that work. I do. I showed her a picture of what Harry Styles looked like yesterday because she'd never seen him before. Oh, she just loved him? Yeah, she just loves his music. She's like, he sings oh. the watermelon song. I love this song. It's great. Well, I mean, I get it, you know? Yeah. She's she's it's interested. A good song. Yeah, like she's interested in the artistry. She's attracted to the passion. I can get, yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. yeah. Once he's done being a singer, he's going to become a dentist, guys. Oh. He's oh. going to dentistry school. Wow. And he's going to be her dentist. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're I going mean, to fall in love. Uh huh. While he's cleaning her teeth. Wow. Then they're going um, to move to New York. I feel like I've read this this fanfic before, or you know, I feel like I've I've read this before. (laughs) Not not Harry Styles, but the whole dentist bit. Like I feel like that's a thing. That's definitely a thing. Um, and congratulations, Kendra, on uh, on that being a thing for her. Yeah, you know what? There were son-in-laws to have, right? Yes. Yes. At least she's not scared of dentists. No, no, I dentists anymore do some like really cool stuff with pediatric dentistry if you can you know find one that Mm -hmm. has openings for those you know Mm -hmm. one-year-old appointments I need to start going to the dentist again I stopped going for a while because I didn't go in college and then I went a couple times and I just got really tired of them bitching at me about how I didn't brush my teeth and floss them enough I'm like yes I do I just have bad teeth sorry and like that went on for a couple years and then I was like fuck this but I need to start going again I found I haven't gone to the dentist in years because it's expensive. Mm-hmm. But the yeah, last time I went, stopped me in college. <laughs> it was the first time where the dentists were like, "Look, you are obviously trying to take care of your teeth. Your mouth's pH level is just not compatible with your enamel. So it's it's not your fault. You're trying. They told you're you doing that? what you're supposed to do. Yes, that's a thing." That's a thing. And they were like, here's some like other things that can help balance your mouth as pH level. It Hmm. doesn't mean that you're dirty. It doesn't mean that you're bad. It just Hmm. some people have soft teeth. Some people have more acidic mouths. And Hmm. we're here to help you fix that. Hmm. And I was just like, you're the nicest people I've ever met in my life. Like crying. Cross country road trip to go see Kendra's dentist. The heck. It was amazing. I was like, thank you. I need to find oh. one of those. I need to actually like look at reviews and like find one like that. You mm. know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Before that, I went to a dentist who was just mean. Every like they were just rude. They didn't understand dental anxiety. Yeah, like, that's what on, I kept guys. encountering. Just like stuff that was unnecessary. Like they would they would accuse me of like how often I was flossing and brushing and mm-hmm. um like I really don't I I know I don't do it enough I don't care it's not gonna change like I'm here yeah. to try to mitigate that and you're just like not make, not helping <laughs> you're not helping you're furthering the dental anxiety like mm-hmm. come on like you're just making like, this I, a chore <laughs> they need to and have I got enough chores <laughs> when anything is done because if not I'll just sit there and like sob the whole time yeah that's not fun no it's not uh, how things get done yeah yeah so. for sure I don't know, but you've given me some inspiration. Maybe I will go try to, like, you know, get a dentist or whatever, which I have not done in years. I mean, do it. Maybe your dentist will be Harry Styles, and you can Mm -hmm. go have a pink house and five to ten kids. Yeah, and we can fall in love, and um, that'll be awesome. Yeah, How old is Harry Styles? I think he's actually younger than me. I I think he's actually younger than me. How old is he? 
Isn't he like 30? I'll look at I, I want to say, but I think he's like early 30s. I don't know. Let me yeah. look this up. How old 29. Is 29. Okay. okay. So he's yeah. younger than all of us. Great. Yeah, he's younger than all of us. <laughs> So, um, you know, Harry, okay. if, you're into, if you're into that sort of thing, we can talk, I guess. But, like, it's really not my thing, personally. <laughs> hey, listen, my mother-in-law's husband is 11 years younger than her. Like, it's fine. Sometimes it works out that way. Yeah. You know, it doesn't always have to be an older man. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. You can but... have a MILF. Yeah, it's I mean, okay. you can. But, like, also, I have preferences. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me, me and Levi are about five years apart. Yeah, so. that's same with my husband. Mm -hmm. Yep, about five yeah. years. No, we've got Although his personality weeks. is like 20 years older. 20 years older? <laughs> oh, he's like, what, old man personality? <laughs> he married Grandpa Joe. <laughs> it's I hot. I love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Okay. You Everybody... should try a dental school. I find that dental schools, because really? they're trying so hard to be good dentists, that oh. they mind their P's and Q's. They have better bedside manner. Oh, that's a good tip. And someone always it's... has to check their work, so they can't oh. screw up. You think it's that's, the same with yeah. like the hygienist? Because if if like Ugh. when I was encountering, when I was like trying to find a dentist that I could like tolerate, um, it was not just about the dentist being rude. Sometimes the dentist would be fine, but like one of the hygienists would be really rude, and I, so then oh, I was, would would stop going and find a new one. You know? Um, yeah. So, do you, are the hygienists there good too? Um, I had a great experience at the school because um, somebody comes at the end of whatever they do to you and they say, how was it? They check your stuff. And then you could say, well, she's rude. And then that affects their score. Oh. Nice. Okay. Good. You know, we, do, we do have a medical, a medical school like in, mm -hmm. in the area. So like, I could definitely look into that. Yeah. I bet they do That's have a dentistry idea. department. Mine was, I don't know if this is like a whole all over country thing, but it was one where they advertise as being accessible, even if you don't have dental insurance. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's good. And yeah, it's it like, is. oh, hey, this isn't, you know, your regular dentist. We're the new cool dentist. <laughs> and then, and I was like, cool whatever. <laughs> I had a dental emergency. One of my fillings came out. And mm. I, dental pain is just something I can't um, handle. Oh, it's the worst. I mean, that's why weird, even though like, I don't I don't go weird. the way I should, I still get the dental insurance because I have used it mm -hmm. for emergencies a couple times and I really need it. Yeah. So I was like, I need a same day appointment. I have to get in. I really don't uh, want to, but I have to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they were just nice. I love that. I've never had a nice. No, that's not true. In Oregon, I had a nice dentist who was understanding, but mm -hmm. it was still, you know, here we go. Yeah, I've had trouble finding adult dentists that are understanding. Like, as a kid, this was not a problem. Yeah. Like, I never remember having these experiences, these weird experiences with dentists as a kid, you know. But maybe they were oh, saying all these things to my mom, and I just didn't know about it. I don't know. <laughs> Man, you know I wish saying? I had your dentist as a child. That's where my anxiety comes from. Oh, dentists. no. It is, I had bad dentists. I had a oh, no. bad orthodontist. Had a no, bad don't die. Dentist. Don't die. No, slimes got to me. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Kendra. Sorry, Kendra. Go for it about the dentist. No, no, it's no. It's got to me. It's, yeah, that <clears throat> feels like going to the dentist is dealing with the slimes getting you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Linus saved me. I lost 5,000 gold and two oh. items. Oh, but it was just Batwing and Sap. Thank God. <clears throat> okay. That is good. Could have been worse. At least it's that. Yeah, it could have been worse. I'm selling some wine because we need to get the money for the cellar. Mm -hmm. Yep, we need the That's house, the next house on. upgrade. Yep. And it's expensive. Yeah. I've had really good luck with dentists, except for one who did my root canal. Oh. And I actually almost walked out in the middle of my root canal because he gave me such bad vibes. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> he waited until I had my mouth like 
opened with the stuff that they use to keep your mouth open. Mm-hmm. And I'd already gotten my Novocaine and everything. And then oh. he decided to, like, give me a detailed report of all the war crimes he witnessed while he was overseas. What? Why? Yeah, he was like, and the children were murdered. And this is what Excuse they looked me? Like. I'm sorry to say that. I don't know about the Twitch TSO, but he, like, described it. And I was oh like, my I gotta God. go. Oh, my God. I can't. I reported him. It was so awful. Good. Yeah, no, I think you can say stuff like that because you're not going into detail or whatever. Like, so I think yeah. you can say that stuff on Twitch. Um, but oh my God, why? What? That's, yeah, what the I fuck? Don't know. Tom says what the There's fuck? There's no too. reason. Yes. <laughs> what the? He- yeah, that's that's There's absolutely no reason for that. That has nothing to do with with dentistry. No, gosh. I don't understand. The way he set it up, it seemed like it was like his shtick to wait until you were trapped and then say whatever crazy crap he could think of. Captive audiences. Yes. Like, man, I... I'll sit through so much with the dentist. Mm -hmm. And it makes me... The dentist I had before this, the one that I went to like three or four years ago, wouldn't numb me enough mm. and they'd give me that look and I'm like no guys I need I can still feel it they're like really can you we already oh. did I'm like, no I can it hurt it feels like this and I'm just like oh that's an accurate description of what this should feel like so we are doing yeah because yeah, when you have an infection like, it eats it yeah yeah and if you have autism or red hair, mm-hmm. and then you need a little bit more work. Very yeah. well. Come on, I promise. I'm not. Yeah. You know, here to get you know, my jimmies rustled by getting more numbing stuff, and not being able to feel my mouth for the rest of the day. I know that. Yeah. I think it's heroin. Like it's just numbing me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you even guys <laughs> can you even have like a, a high type of effect from that i don't even think that's possible i don't know i don't think it's possible i think they're just you know status yeah go get their know, the, off the weird um situation i had with a dentist wasn't until i was like quite a bit older like i was in my uh later teenage years and i was having a lot of um jaw pain and so oh. I went to a new dentist because they were just a little bit more on the up and up. Like my dentist mm-hmm. wasn't really sure what was going on, but we knew it was like, we seem, we thought it was like something related to like TMJ or something like that. Yeah. And so we went to this other dentist that kind of specialized in that sort of stuff. And, uh, and it was a very strange experience. Like they, they got me a retainer, a plastic retainer so that I could like separate my teeth at mm-hmm. night, which that actually yeah. did help. It did help. But the appointment was so weird like I had to fill out this like form that was like get to know you form oh. and um and they wanted to know like favorite books and I was on like a dystopia kick at the time so the yeah. dentist like brings me in for the first little like interview part of it whatever like just to talk to me mm-hmm. but instead of talking about my symptoms he wants to talk about like personal stuff that I wrote on the form and like that's fine but the, his reaction was very strange like so I started telling him about like how I was reading Animal Farm in 1984 and da 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 and he had he had zero interest like he asked me the question and then he was just like uh uh-huh, uh-huh, like waiting for me like waiting for me to stop talking and like interrupting me and stuff I'm like why the fuck did you ask me so it was like off from that and then um, after they were finished with exam- the exam, they told me that I needed braces and that braces were going to fix the jaw pain that I was having. And after all these weird vibes, I just thought they were lying. And I don't know why. I, like it was, I was like 16 at the time, maybe 17. right? Wow. And I was just like, I think they're lying. I think they're lying that I, I don't think I need braces. I think they're lying. And I don't see how braces are going to help with the jaw pain. Like I kept asking questions. They couldn't answer them. They acted like I was just being an annoying kid. Um, and so then they sat me down in the chair to to put, start putting the braces on. And I was like, no, actually I don't have to sit here. Like I just had it this moment, this moment where I realized like, I don't, they're not chaining me to this chair. I don't have to do this. And I got up and I said, I'm not doing braces. Bye. And like my mom had already been done left. Like she had left the dentist office because she had to go take care of another errand. And, yeah. um, and I called her and I was like, you need to come pick me up. I'm not doing these braces. And she goes, okay. Like she thought yeah. it was really weird, but she didn't argue with me because I was so adamant. And well, good on not her. only a year mm-hmm. later, not a, 
less like a year later that dentist office closed because the dentist <gasps> there got convicted of insurance fraud no. and could <gasps> not afford it and had to close his practice oh. because he was literally putting braces on everyone that he could possibly convince literally uh -huh. and i don't know how i knew that it was a lie but somehow like 16 17 year old child me i just knew it wasn't true i was like i don't need braces that's not gonna help i know that's not gonna help i don't know how i knew but i just knew you've got to trust your gut your gut a lot yep. of times will help yep so that was the one like terrible experience i had with the dentist that kind of started this you know whole and then of course i didn't go a bunch because i didn't have no money to go but then when i yeah, got money right. again then i had a bunch of bad experiences so i was just like oh fuck this oh, <laughs> I got braces where I was like emotionally ready to have braces. Oh no. And one of my orthodontists was like, yeah, well, we're just going to paint stuff on your teeth, yellow goop on your teeth, and, and it will, you know, stop all of this, you know, break. Your enamel because you're not taking care of your braces. And I'm sitting here going, like, I'm 11, sir. I don't know what you expect from me. Thank you. And what are the ingredients? Great. <laughs> what are the ingredients? You know, like, yeah, sure. This will help. Fine. But I'm not taking the little spoolie and going in and everything every night. I'm angry because I have, have rubber bands on these things. Like, like come on. Of course, I'm not taking care of them. Mm -hmm. But most kids don't. Most kids don't, right? Yeah. No, they don't. It's, at 11, you're too young. Honestly, you're not going to be taking care of your teeth at night. Yeah. And I shouldn't have had them. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's just you leave it on for X amount of hours and then you, you brush it off. It off. And this will come off because my concern at 11 was um, why does it look like I have smoker's teeth? <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> like, how about this? I'm out of have cavities. And then, like, no, no, it'll be fine. And it never came off. Uh, right? So, like, I didn't my cavities. Like, I don't want to show in pictures because of the what they were doing. And that's what I was doing. Gross. That's gross of them to do that. Like, come on, guys. No, I didn't have braces. Um, I had them it's briefly for about. I had them briefly for about nine months when I was five on my baby teeth. Five? And yeah, at five on my baby teeth. And the dentist was like, she's got just a little bit of like misalignment. And I believe if we put braces on the baby teeth, then the new teeth will actually, when they grow in, they'll actually grow in straight. And he was actually right. He was right. That's what happened. And so I only had to have, yeah, so I only had braces for about nine months or so when I was like five. Never. So yeah. cool. And I've never heard of anyone having this experience since, but and so I don't even remember. I know I, I know it happened yeah. because my parents have told me it happened. And like the dentist pictures. Yeah, but like I don't recall so I don't recall it. I like hearing that you don't remember stuff like that. Yeah, I don't remember. Five. It makes me feel better. That. Yeah, I don't remember it at all. But like I think um but it turned out to it was correct. And I don't know if this is like a widespread thing that dentists do or whatever, or if this was like something unique to what was going on with me. Um, but yeah, it totally worked. That's so awesome. I actually never really Amazing. had the braces experience. Oh man, that must be nice. Yeah, I avoided it. I avoided it. See you. Well, I mean, I had other oh, things, but I mean, you know, just not that one. <laughs> There's just, you don't know what braces are like now, but, you know, 20 years ago, they tore up the inside of your cheek. Like, I've got scars on my cheeks. I have braces from 14 to 17. Wow, that's kind of oh. old to have braces, Lunar. I'm sorry. That, yeah, but at that point, you were, like, emotionally able to understand what they were doing, weren't you? Yeah. Like, you were going through and doing the little spoolie thing and not eating popcorn. <laughs> Happy. Yes. You know, oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, my memories. That one I agreed with. My memories of, like, that age where everyone had braces is most people were not following any of the rules. They were just doing whatever mm -hmm. they wanted to do. And they would have to have their braces on longer. But that's just how it was. Yeah. 
Oh man, and then picking out your rubber band color. Yep. Does everyone get like Invisalign now? Yeah, and I think so. What? I think so. Man. Because you know, when um when Jeff had all those medical things and he was in the hospital and all of that, one of the things he ended up doing during that time, because he was going to a bunch of doctors anyway, was going and getting all of his teeth fixed. And that um makes sense. and yeah. it was Invisalign. It's Invisalign. Like it's not braces anymore. That? It's more accessible too. Yes, like yeah. than it was when it first came out. Yes, like it seemed really easy. Like, and he doesn't even have to wear them during the day. He just wears them at night, and like it worked. Gosh. I don't know. It's crazy. And, and I never wore my retainer. <laughs> the retainer uh, is really what it is. The retainer was the worst. Because I had arch support, like an arch expander, before I had braces because I have a small palate or whatever. Mm. I don't think they do that anymore. Oh. This orthodontist should not still be in business. Every time I see their ads on Facebook, I'm like, I hate you. <laughs> Even though my orthodontist isn't still working. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, so hopefully they've gotten better since then. I have sure hope so. But boy, howdy. Yeah, I had to have my wisdom teeth pulled, then spacers, expanders, and braces. And yeah, I was old enough to do all oh. the things I could. Yeah. Oh, that's still, that still sounds like so much, though. It's too much. Yeah. But at least, you know, at least you were able to care. I took my arch expander out at the movie theater to eat popcorn. <laughs> oh, and I had... Yeah, well, yeah, because you had to take it out to eat, and that was fine. Mm -hmm. This was pre-braces, so I was like nine, nine, ten, and I had put it because you know it's at the movie theater. Where are you going to put it? You wrap it up uh -huh. in a napkin because and you, you put didn't it on have your space for it. And you, you put, put it on it, your like you know, armrest or under your leg so you don't forget it. And then oh, you forget it, but it was wrapped in a napkin and it got thrown away. <gasps> Yeah. I got experience of being through a dumpster to find this thing to put clean and put back in my mouth. Gross. Oh, my mom was so mad at me. Well, because they're so I ridiculously was... expensive. So you got to go yeah. try to look for it. Exactly. And mom was like, you are doing this. It gets smells so bad. She's like, it's too damn bad. Like, sorry, this thing, this, was a zillion, this thing was a zillion dollars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm they are though. Yeah, it's ridiculous. There's no reason. My son kept ripping his out. His were cemented in, but he Oof. gets really sensitive to like sensory things. Yep. And he would rather rip it out of his mouth than wear it. Oh, yep. that was me. After the third time, we were like, you know what? We'll just deal with braces later on. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that did smart. Mm -hmm. Not worth it. It's not. But that's anyway. good advice, though, too, that 11 was too young because they're going to push for it in young. the next year or two. So I'll be yeah. like, well, let's wait until he's like 13, 14. It was, it was too young. It just wasn't. Well, and, and you know, the other thing that I think is kind of interesting because braces is so different now with like Invisalign and stuff. Mm -hmm. Even if we just easier to do it as an adult and <laughs> not even worry about it as a kid. Oh yeah. my gosh, frame rate, frame rate, so many skulls. Oh my god, escape, escape. Rip, rip, oh, rip. Nope, oh, no. I wanted to escape. Ah, frame rate. Get out, Run get away. out. I escaped. Oh no, I died oh. at the start of the mud. <laughs> no. I escaped and then died. <laughs> the heck? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this wasn't meant to Harvey. be. We weren't meant to get out of that. Harvey. Oh, I mean, it wasn't my fault. I had an extreme lag. Oh my god, a thousand. Oh no. Oh. Oh, gosh, and I lost a jade. Oh no. <sighs> my frame rate said, fuck you. <laughs> All these skulls came for me, and I could not escape Ugh. fast enough. The skulls go so hard. They do. They throw bones. They do, they do. This is why my combat skill is so shitty. Because I don't, I don't like to deal with all that. That's fair. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. We're gonna put that. You're safe now. Too. Thank you. I am. Har You're Harvey saved us. me. I prefer when Linus saves me, though. Honestly. 
Yeah. Harvey like charges so much money. Like what what are you doing with that money in this economy, Harvey? Like where what do you what are you spending it on in Stardew <laughs> Valley? There's nothing to buy here except farm shit. So what do you, what are you doing? Mail mail I'm order for your to plane him. hobby. In my personal game, I'm married to him and he has an expensive hobby, so he does. It's like airplanes, That's probably right? What it is. Model airplanes. Yeah. And and regular airplanes. So Yeah, he loves that airplanes. is an expensive so, hobby. Yeah. But he charges his spouse too. And that every time that happens to me, I'm like, I'm divorcing him. <gasps> oh my god, you I shouldn't be charged. You, you shouldn't be charged if you marry Harvey. That no, should be like the that... perk of marrying him. Yeah. I think so too. Obviously. And he takes your stuff. You don't deserve it. <laughs> Get back in the kitchen. Wow. That's so rude of him. Hey, come on, I'm funding your stupid airplane hobby like just let me have this for real should have married emily Should have married. Uh, <laughs> yes <laughs> how manic pixie dream girl are you out of here it'll be fine <laughs> at the last power festival i had sebastian dance with me instead and i was like is that going to cause me to get divorced oh, what happened did anything happen Nope. They said oh. it. He it, it, it was just my partner, and Harvey didn't get mad or anything. So they let you just mingle. Oh, okay, so flower That's festival nice. dancing isn't cheating. Yes. Good to know. I wouldn't know. I always dance with whatever my spouse is. I've never cheated on the flower festival. <laughs> Egg festivals tomorrow, by the way, you guys. Still cheating to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just dancing. It's just dancing. Just having a good old time. It is just dancing. I don't know. Rug. I don't know why I never. I never do a different. Flower, I, but I always do. I always just dance with my spouse at the flower festival. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Never really well, you know, I have it. my fan fiction where my children are actually the wizard's children in mm -hmm. secret. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I love do love that. that. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. It's the best. Okay, my health is all the way up again. Thank God. <laughs> I came to check. Like, why are you in bed? It's Be only eight. Because my, my health was yeah. down since I died, but I forgot to put the sword away because I went to Harvey instead of like still being in the mine. So now I need to go put the sword away. Oh well, there's two swords, so it's fine, especially if you're going back there tomorrow. Oh, that's good. That's good. I don't know. I just feel like I need to put put it up. Like, that's where it goes. I have to put it away. <laughs> How weird system. is that? It's just don't... a game. <laughs> no, it's... You have your system. Yeah. And I was like, no, that's where you the swords go. Team. Where the swords go, I have to put it away. <laughs> Obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get wrath away from our. There we go. Well, All maybe Kendra. Time. Maybe Kendra, since Eliza can't really like sit through movies very well, maybe you can just like mm -hmm. rent it as soon as it's available on the stream. Yeah. Um, because I'm sure it'll come out. It'll probably be a period where it's like out for streaming for like twenty bucks or whatever, and that way you yeah. can just, like pause it and take a few days to watch it or whatever. I mean, I just found, you know, in cleaning, I found that we had a couple of, you know, like Costco paid for movie tickets. Yeah, that oh. I thought we used all of them, but I found more, and I was like, cool, great, I'll go, I'll go myself ha 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 yep i love going to the movies by myself it's my favorite yeah it's not it's it's pretty good time in my opinion i honestly going to the movies with someone else i'm always so worried about managing their movie experience like if the movie's bad <laughs> that's a reflection on me for some reason what no <laughs> Kendra. You know, yeah it doesn't make <laughs> sense it, it's me Hi. is that a is that a bunny on your bed so the, yes, there's no, actually two bunnies. There's me. a a white. It's just me. Huh? Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a white bunny hat, and there's a blue bunny hat, and then there's a blue unicorn hat, and then there's also that pink. This pink one right here, that's a jellyfish hat. I actually have. I love that one. I have four hats. It's so cute. I have four hats. <laughs> Why does it say we're waiting for other players when the three of us are oh, all in? Oh, because bed? I didn't click yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to say, do we need to restart this game? Because that's not correct. I didn't click the button. <laughs> that's not right. Something's, something's wrong here. <laughs> What's wrong is I didn't click the button. <laughs> Making it last forever. Yeah. 
So I don't know why this reminded me of it, us uh, sleeping together in the same bed. But have you guys been seeing the girl dinner on TikTok? Yeah. No, what is girl dinner? Awesome. So it's usually, dinner. yeah, it's like when you don't have anyone else to feed and you feed yourself and it's like a handful of Skittles, a coffee and a pickle. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. Or like 50 olives. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I've had that dinner. Yes. Okay. I understand. And so I've been laughing about it ever since it started and then i saw one that combined another really old joke where this woman is in her senior center in 2080 and she's like i said no more jello i want girl dinner <laughs> and it's like this really funny joke to me until popeyes released an official girl dinner menu item and no. i'm like it's done it's dead why no. why do corporations have to ruin things popeyes what the f i hadn't even heard about this meme yet and you already ruined it I, God, better I have to Google squad. what Popeye's girl dinner is, though. Hang on. I must It's know. actually, I would eat it. I would eat it. That's the worst part. They actually understood it. I want a lunch. Oh my God. All right, you, you can't do this bit without the intro. Come on. Taking oh, I get it. Roys. I get girl it. It's dinner. a Popeye's meal where you don't eat the chicken. I understand. I would eat this too. <laughs> it's just the sides. It's the best part. Two biscuits. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, glasses. actually, when we do the rare times that we do have takeout, I definitely eat girl dinner off of it because, like, th there won't be any leftover chicken, but we'll still have sides left over. We're like, I'll just eat all the sides. I'll mm -hmm. just eat them all. Done. Not uncommon. I've done this many times. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah. Yeah, I used to eat girl dinner a lot um, in college. A lot, a lot. When does the festival start? 9 a.m.? Oh, there oh, it goes. The it's 9 a.m. Okay, let's go. The egg festival. Not the flower festival. No, egg festival. Just in town. Mm -hmm. I'm let's gonna go. smoke you guys. I'm ready. You know what? I'm I ready. bet you are. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try to, we gotta win you. against Abigail, though, okay? One of us has to beat Abigail. That's the goal. That's not hard. And it's easier on multiplayer, I'm pretty sure, because I think it's less eggs that's required on multiplayer. <laughs> we roll okay. up. Do we want to buy any strawberries? I think we should. I think we should, yeah. too. I feel like we need money right now. Buying a bunch of strawberries would be super helpful. Mm. For jam? Well, because they produce multiple times. And if yeah. we put them in the greenhouse, then we just have a bunch of strawberries. And we can just yeah, sell like, a, a lot. Yeah, put a couple in the greenhouse. Yeah. And... I don't know. I'm going to buy a bunch. I'm going to buy like... Like 20 strawberries. Sounds fantastic. And Kitty, you said you need to you need to raise your farming, right? Yes. Okay. I need to I'll trade these to you then. Oh awesome. Here I am. Oh, okay. Can I trade them right now? Oh, I can't do it during the festival. It won't oh, let me. okay. Yeah. My bar's not there, so it won't let me. Yeah, just pick it in the chest when we get home. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hi, Elliot. My favorite Hello. conversations are when you start talking to the kids and they just say dot 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 because I kids shouldn't it. talk to strangers. But at the same <laughs> yeah. time, you're like, damn. <laughs> I love that. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Good job. Yes, like, yes, yes you're right. Little kid. You are correct. Thank <laughs> I you, Stardew Valley. I love how with my outfit mod, um, Emily is a kitty cat. And she should be. Yes. This is a good time to see. I can look at your screen while you're doing that. Aw, Marnie. Oh, not yet. We're not ready for the hunt yet. I still am talking to people. Did I talk to I everybody? I broke my mods earlier this week. Oh, no. Because I, the nature mod broke for me, and it was like, do you want to just delete it? And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll delete it. But then it broke everything. <gasps> no. No, really? And I don't what? know how to fix it, so I was like, just please, to Mr. Kitty, I was like, please just fix it sometime soon so I can play again. Oh, oh my goodness. This I'll die. Vortex? You have hens on your farm? Yes? Oh, good. Yeah, I said yes, too. I also tell Abigail every every time she's not she's not uh, too old to do the egg hunt. No, you're never too old to do the egg hunt. Yeah, because I'm doing it, so... Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'd be a hypocrite. Well, no, that's... You, you tell her no so that she stops. She gets self-conscious and stops, and then you go in. And there's no <laughs> more competition. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> you know, girl boss, you keep... Gaslight. 
<laughs> correct order is. Gatekeep, Gaslight, Girl Boss. Yay! That's what I'm that gonna one. do on Monday at the Barbie movie. Gonna build Love up it. my Gaslight, Gatekeep, Girl Boss energy. Do you have like a special outfit? Oh, I should make a special outfit. You no, should. I don't have one, but I should make one. Okay, I talked to everybody. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I have a special outfit for today. It says Sparkly Birthday Girl, but I don't have Yay. one for Barbie. You it's should beautiful. have one for Barbie. My little sister even got a special outfit together for Barbie. It's like, what, who are you? I'll look in my closet and see what I have that's the most Barbie-ish. I bet you have plenty of pink things in your closet. I have many. I have many. I just got to decide which ones go together to make, make the most Barbie look. Calm down, kiddos. No. Abigail and her stupid straw hat. Is our straw hat this year, Abigail? <laughs> <laughs> If we win, will we all get a straw hat? I don't remember how that works. Oh, damn it, the basket's in my way. I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> Serious. I'm coming for you, eggs! Abigail, you're walking so slow, you're not winning. But then uh -huh. somehow she wins, it's so stupid. Nope. Fine, we're getting this. I believe in us. I do too. Man. My little shortcut got all blocked off for the season, for the event. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Uh oh. These are all gotten up here. Yeah, yeah right? Because there's the one three of us. Mayor Lewis's yard is uh, still there. Yeah. I have six. Oh. I didn't see how many I have. But I walked I, right past when I intended to grab. I think I may have oh got five or six, but I don't know. Yeah. I know I didn't do very well. All right. Okay, <laughs> Lewis, <laughs> tell us. Yeah, come on. <gasps> yeah! Oh, Karen! Ooh. Fuck yeah! You did it! Girl. Yay! I got a straw hat! Okay, yeah. I gotta switch from the sailor hat to the straw hat. We might put on my Luffy cosplay. In a minute. <laughs> okay. Hey, oh thanks for the whistle. Thank you. Where are you Yay. inside? Where are you, Kitty? Oh. Heck yeah. Oh. Get in, Karen. Hi, <laughs> Karen. Hmm. Guess what I found out. I know. What did you find out? Uh, that the German version of Kid Bop. Did a kids' bop version of Du Host. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Yep. What is? What are the kids' bop version lyrics? Because they can't just be Du Host Mesh. No, it was uh, Du Lieb Mesh. So they oh, they just page they it to me. you love me, and I'm like, well, that's okay. <laughs> right. I mean, right. so they're saying Do something now. So they're saying uh, you love me to the beat of the Du Hast song, so it's like, angrily, yes. I love you angrily. It's you, you love, you love me, like little angry German kids. That's a threat. And I'm like, Honestly, <laughs> it's scarier, it's scarier now because it's saying like, you love me or else, don't you fucking tell me you don't love me, love me. Right? That's someone I'm crossing the street to avoid. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but that's, that's, so that's the block on Tinder. <laughs> that's yeah. someone in one of our Discord role plays, come on yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we played those characters. I mean, yeah, but I don't want to experience it. I just, just in, in text. I just in text with fake characters. <laughs> oh my goodness! Kids Bop did a cover of Antihero and it's horrific. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. you guys. Okay, mm -hmm. you guys. You know, yep. you can torture me and you um, by putting <laughs> the Kids Bop songs into the media request if you would like. Um, I so I just wanted to remind you that you can do that. I don't think we want to hurt ourselves. Like, that's <laughs> friendly fire. At that point. Hash browns on the TV today. Wait, oh, will you give no. me... Will you, will you get, or, what was oh, that? Oh, oh yeah. Thing? Oh, yeah. That's strawberries. You. you need the strawberry berries. Okay. You need the strawberry berries. I gotta say, your straw hat is perfect for your outfit. Thank you. I love it. I really wanted it when we did year one, but it didn't work. Oh, do I have to click you every time? Yeah. Just put them in a chest oh okay i'll just put them in the chest outside with all the mining stuff 
Because I'm not going to click this 20 times. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, they're in the that mining way, chest. you don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> oh, I got salmon dinner from Gus. Thank Gus. Yay! What else? What other meal do I have? Oh, and Shane gave me pepper popper. Shane, I'm just going to give these Aww. right back to you because I know how much you love them. <laughs> I, I think there's a hot pepper in... Oh, there is some hot peppers in there. Okay, well, yeah, let me go find... There. I gotta go find. I'm ha I'm feeling so good. I won the egg thing. I want to go, go tell um, tell my love how excited I am <laughs> that I won the egg thing. And I brought you pepper poppers, baby. Baby you should give whatever Abigail hates to her <laughs> in the straw hat. <laughs> oh my goodness! Be like, hey Abigail, you like my hat? Do you think oh it's cool? <laughs> Here's some slime. <laughs> oh. Would you? I had brought this rock for you. <laughs> Don't be mean to her. She's got the worst dad. She does have the worst dad, it's true. But she also has that scene that makes you play the really hard game, and I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. That, okay, yeah. well. I've been trying to do the Prairie King game, and I got to the second part of it. It's no, so hard. It. It's, it's so hard. No, there's no way to do that game. It. I refuse to believe that people can... Well, game. some people have the achievement, so someone must be no. able to do it, but that person's not me. No, um, that's called hacking. <laughs> there the is cheats. a hack for it. I, I found it on YouTube, but I was like, I'm oh. not going to do it. No, you should try to do it legit before you hack. You got to make at least mm -hmm. some attempts first. I have all the FNAF games. I don't know which to play. All right, you guys. So as you all know, after this stream, we're mm. continuing the party over at Lunar. She's going to play um, one of the FNAF games. Uh, what mm -hmm. FNAF game should she play for us? What would you guys like to see? Um, they're also scary. They are yeah. very scary. That's why she has to play it for me. I can't play it. <laughs> um, it's like how we talked about Doki Doki Literature Club. I had to finish it mm -hmm. so that you could see the ending. Yeah. Right. I would never see it without you. Nope. <laughs> no way. Um. Uh, the so most recent one was pretty good, right? I thought. I, I think so. I know Lunar played a bunch of the most recent ones, so I've seen some of that. I've seen a full playthrough of the first one, but those are the only two I've really seen a lot of. And I know the new one doesn't come out for a couple more days, right? The 25th is when the next one comes out. Like, it's just... And Lunar is going to stream that also. Oh, I didn't mean to go to the quarry. Yeah, do, do three. That way... Be, because you're in your 30s. Three. Oh, yeah. Three for 30s. I like three. that. Yeah. yeah, let's do three, Lunar. Maybe security breach since Ruin is out Tuesday. All week minus Wednesday. Right, yes. Okay, let's craft some peppers. Craft there it. We go. She's crafty. Yay. If you have a I have a confession to make you guys, and you probably have uh -oh. noticed because Discord likes to like shame oh. me. Um, <laughs> I've been playing classic WoW again, and I can't stop. Good. Can't stop. Um, it's great. It's still a good I'm... game, you guys. It was good in 2004. It's it's good in 2023. That's it's just true. It's good. a good, good ass game. Gosh, I just joined a I couple like women non-binary only servers for D&D players and I'm like oh, maybe I'll find a group again yeah good luck maybe Gosh, that's good a good luck. energy yeah yeah, yeah. That, that was the reason I was like you know what I had you know the bad experience that I had and I was like I'm, I'm gonna play it safe here it is so hard to find a good online group nothing against men D, &D mm -hmm. players but all the bad ones are men so like it's really yep. difficult and you don't know until you're usually a session or two in if you've got one of those people in the in the game and it's like shit i got invested and now i have to quit yep. motherfucker <sighs> right it's like come on you gotta like put it in me. your intro elon Musk is trash ben shapiro's dumb and then wait for them to come to you and be like okay time to go <laughs> my least okay. favorite human is um is ben Ben Shapiro. I, call, I like to call him Ben Shapuki. Um, Jordan Peterson's dumb. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. They, 
that's just the song from like the Music Man or whatever. She's your Chapoopy. Chapoopy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's you exactly where I was to going go with it. Shapiro, that. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly where I was going. No. <laughs> you pick. You picked no. it right up. <laughs> I. It's because I'm a nerd. <laughs> But it's, so funny. but it's so funny. But it's so funny. My least favorite human is Kanye West. Yeah. I think yeah. a lot of people, um, I don't know, does Kanye West have real fans anymore now that he went like totally bonkers? I feel like he's even too bonkers for most like idiot internet conservatives. Or is that not I, true? Does he have fans anymore? I don't know. I, don't know. I used to love him when he was crazy but not hateful me too yeah he was so fascinating but, to me and i actually thought some of his songs were like legitimately good but now i can't really listen to most of them anymore he's too insane i yeah i, I still call know. people squid brains because yes. he coined that phrase. yes it's a good phrase it's a good phrase i mean unironically kanye west is actually a genius which makes it extra sad i have no yeah. idea i don't know who people like i all I know is Kids Bop. Like, that's just my life right now is Kids Bop, and I want to see Barbie. Oh, and Hello Kitty. Oh, I love Kids. Hello Kitty. I know, right? She's got I good taste. Her. Yeah, she she's does have really job. good taste. Do you guys remember the edgy Goodbye Kitty? Excuse no. me? I remember Happy Bunny. Yeah, I know Happy yeah, Bunny. Yeah, it was basically that. But I think Goodbye yeah. Kitty was just, like, the emo dark version of it. Oh, oh so, so me as a teenager. Okay. So it's like, um... So it's like how the, the Sanrio artist uh, draws a Gretzko now. <laughs> I don't know. I love a Gretzko. I don't know that one. Or it's like it's garbage pail kids. Oh. No, oh a Gretzko is, um, it's drawn like all the Sanrio characters. It's by the same artist. But the plot is about this, um, this woman who's actually, uh, fuck, I can't remember what kind of animal she is. A very cute animal. She's a very cute animal, but she works in an office and she's mad about it. Um, and she she okay. wishes she didn't That's work in me. an office. Yeah, so like it's great. Oh, it's great. Karen, what? It's better I replace saw Dilbert. the hotel goes. I went back to work. Um, oh, you did at the hotel. Yes, I did. Oh wait, before and... let me read. Let me read what Lunar because she was actually commenting on what we we're talking about before, before we changed subjects. I didn't even know yeah. who he was till he did what he did to Taylor. What? Oh my god! Unacceptable, Lunar. That's so I mean, funny. What he did? That's so funny. <laughs> it is. It's crazy. He's crazy. Um, he was kind of crazy then, but like he was like funny crazy then. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Also, today is Selena Gomez's birthday, too. That's because she's the BAMP. Selena Gomez is amazing. If you guys have not watched um, All the Murders and Only Murders in the oh, Building yeah. that she's in, you have oh got goodness. to see that. She is so funny, actually. Okay, anyways. I, I like yes, please tell us about the hotel. Yeah, I love her. Um, I love Selena Gomez. I saw... So, it's a haunted hotel. Yes. And whatever. I killed them the rowdy boys in the basement the first day i went back like it was just like you could feel you were in a concert that level of like Wah! the vibrating in your bones mm. wah, and it's wah, just like wah, wah. bone stuff like i just get feeling sinus pressure whatever i don't see anything i don't hear mm -hmm. anything i can just like feel it mm -hmm. yesterday at work i saw the hotel spirit like the one that's advertised on the website the one oh my God. For 40 years. i saw her and i was like okay you had actually like visual experience. <laughs> yes, I had a visual experience. So I very quickly was like, I just saw that if I die, guys, no, I love you. Oh they my missed gosh. you. Very. Uh, yes, they they did. They were all very uh, happy. So how is Dude. how is working how is working again? It's been so long since you since you've worked. I know you're at the same hotel yeah. again, right? I am at the same hotel again. Work mm -hmm. is. I, I like it. I like feeling. Um, I opened up the dwarf guy so we've got the dwarf in mm. the mind um it's nice i like being able to contribute like i've got it just feels good to do that it's yeah. hard but i think it's nice you know, jump right back into everything it's not it's just physically intensive work but it's yeah. easier than driving into town to take care of my parents airbnb that yeah. that yeah. yep <laughs> some of your mm -hmm. stuff from that was like woo <laughs> Um, I'm still property managing for them, so you know are it's you? fine. Yep. Are you going to continue to? Or are you going to try to stop? I no, I am going to continue to. It's if I, it, it's how we're uh, exchanging labor for paying back. You know, our the loan that they did. They gave right. us a little loan when we were buying our house. So 
understand. And they're like, yeah, your payments are going to start at this point. And, like, real specific about it. And, I understand. Well. I got I got boomer parents, too. And they're like that, too. Yeah. Yep. Working for family, yep. I feel like they work you so hard. Yeah. Yeah. They no, do. they really. Uh, they at least pay well. So I <laughs> right. Just, like, you, you know, get a deal, pay, right? I, well, I just keep track of how many hours I go and then. You know, if I do one clean a month there, that takes care of our monthly payment. Mm -hmm. You know, property management stuff is a little less than a clean, but it takes care of that. Yep. Well, that's good. I'm glad they cut you a good deal. They mm -hmm. better. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Because I, look, I, the people that they've found that go to work, they're, they're not, they don't do the best job. Yeah, I so would imagine. They, it's really uh, appreciate when I'm there. Yeah. And that has upped my rate for them. I would imagine that's the sort of situation where it is really hard to find someone who does a good job at it um, and can consistently do it, you know? Yeah. I would assume most um, people that would do a good job at it probably are like they're busy and they're yeah. not really going to consistently be able to be there for you. Yeah. They're busy. Uh they have their own cleaning business that they're doing. Mm -hmm. They have employees and some of their mm -hmm. employees don't do the job the way that you want it. You hired this yep. person to do it. Just, yeah. It becomes, it becomes like a whole job just to manage all of those people by yep. itself. Like even when they have someone else go in and clean, I still go in after them to do an inspection. Yep. So they're paying somebody twice. Yep. Which is great for me. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> you know, it is unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. Yep. Yeah, that's my okay. understanding as well of how that kind of all stuff kind of works for most people. I can't. I don't have that much child care. I can't go and clean a full house mm -hmm. that takes least four hours to clean. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Because especially when you're in there, you're like cleaning up after somebody that was there for a vacation. So mm -hmm. some people are going to be like extra messy Um yeah. because it's like it's not their place and, or whatever. And they have kids. Yeah. And kids yeah. are always messy as fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, oh, man. Oh, man. I... They're having problems with their one of their security cameras. Oh no! I got to climb up into their attic, which heights don't scare me, but climbing scares me. Mm -hmm. And going up into this rickety little ladder into the attic, it where the attic is twenty degrees hotter than you know the outside. It's just ridiculous. See, I'm totally okay with that stuff until I realize how the heck am I going to get back down without panicking. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like getting back See, down the ladder is the challenging part for me. It was, oh, that, then I found out that I could have fallen through the floor in the attic and I was like, that's, thank you for telling me. I appreciate this. Thanks. It's good, good that they didn't tell you till afterwards, right? Yeah. I'm like I'm right here. She goes, oh, you're standing on the spot. Be very careful. Like, Excuse me? <laughs> Level six combat. I leveled up finally. Nice. Still, I still need to probably get like two more levels before I feel like good about my combat level, but I got one at least. I'm Believe almost to you. level five farming. Oh, good. You're having the same struggle with farming that I'm having with combat. Oh, I'm glad that you're... I was trying to... Sorry. You're good, you're good. Looking at your... I was looking at your... Be, you're on on Twitch trying to move. Like, why aren't I moving? Pressing all the buttons <laughs> to move. Oh yeah, if you're watching me. That's funny. Like, I've done that, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I've done that when I've watched um when I'm watching like a YouTube video for a tutorial in some game, right? Oh, and then I'll be yeah. like, wait, what's going on? And I'm still looking at the tutorial. I'm not looking at the game yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. 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 yep, yep. Well, I'm glad that you're um that you're having a good time like working again and stuff. It's, like that's awesome. It's nice. Um, I do think that there's like there's like some kind of there's like a pleasure in like um 
like professionally like doing something competently and like having accomplishments yes. even if they're like silly little accomplishments even if you're really just doing it for the paycheck there is yeah. like there is like um like a primordial pleasure in that that i think that um, i love that, that everybody yeah like everybody should be able to experience that sometimes like i don't i think we work too much like 40 hours a week is ridiculous but like most yeah. people need to work a little bit so that they can yeah. feel that and it's it's nice it's a nice break i i get out of caretaking and yes. being responsible for someone's well-being yes. and instead can focus on like okay you know my hospital corners look great yep whatever and then there's like there's like a pleasure in that where you're like yeah that bed looks real yeah. good i did a good yeah. job on that wow yeah nobody that else irons free. pillowcases as fast as i can yeah you know and it's nice to be able to go do that. And also, yeah, it's guilt free because you're being productive. Yes. So you're not worried like, oh, I should be yeah. doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah, so it's nice. All right, we are almost at the, the amount of money that we need for the seller. It's 100 G, we've got 94 G. I'll fish today. Yeah, I'm gonna fish today too, I think, to try to get us over. Cause we're making about three or four K per day. So if we make yeah. a little bit more today, we might be able to make it so that we can upgrade um, in the next the next day. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. We're almost there. We're gonna get it. Yeah. Should I plant the coffee beans or sell them? I uh, think put it... them in the keg. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the ones with stars I've been selling just to make a little bit of extra money, but the base one, put them in the keg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. Where are you, cow? And if we have any chests with like lingering bullshit in them, we should sell it today. Yes. Okay. There you are. Lingering bullshit. Yeah, lingering bullshit. You know. The bullshit that lingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. Time to head to the ocean and, and fish up. All right. Let's. I'm trying to level up my mining skills now. Yeah. My Yay! poor mining is not very good either, but I'm trying. I believe in you. I'm just going to focus on other stuff. Yeah. Ah, I forgot about the crabs. The crabs? <laughs> the little rock crabs in the mines. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It just jump scared me. <laughs> the bastards. I know. Rude of them. Jerks. I... Oh, shit. Nope. Didn't do that. Uh, uh, oh, someone time. had a dinosaur egg. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we should. We have a baby dinosaur, right? Because we already put the din the dinosaur egg in the museum, right? Yes. Okay. So, and we've had some dinosaur mayonnaise a okay, couple good. times. Okay, that's what I got. In. Yeah. Yeah. Like we've been doing good with that. Ah! My combat is so low. Right. <laughs> That's why, like, when we got, like, now that we're basically caught up and we have one more thing for the community center, it was like, okay, yeah. I actually have to focus on my combat, but I've been ignoring the whole fucking game. Right. Yeah. Like, okay. Gotta but focus that happened, on my combat. That happened in my personal game, too. Like, my combat was so low during year two, and I had to, like, actually practice it, you know? Yeah. Ah. Where did it go? There we go. Okay. Whew. If anyone finds a leak, can I have it to give to Grandpa? Yes, I think we all got yes. the leak quest, so if anybody finds extra leaks. I think there is a leak in the chest in the upper uh, left-hand house. Okay. By, like, one of those chests over in that field by Landon's paradise. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there is one. Oh, there's only one, though, and I feel bad. No, it's okay, because, I mean, take it's it. whatever. Just take it. At least one yeah. of us can do it. Because we all have it, so one of us at least should do it. And I'll, I'll get it at some point. Like, I'm not worried. I have a bunch of quests that are, like, just chilling in my in my thing that I have not that, done. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> Mine, too. I started just accepting them all. Yeah, I just accept them, and then, like, 
I'll get to them when I get to them. Yeah. Ah. Like I have the Pam one still. Oh yeah. Even though she's driving yeah. now, and so I shouldn't give her the booze, but at some point I'm gonna give her the booze. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. She's friendlier when she's drinking. Exactly. <clears throat> and she's she's fun. She's fun then. Mm -hmm. Makes the bus ride really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> wowie wowie wow. <laughs> I just like I like to live on the edge, you know. <laughs> of your seat? Um yes. Of death. Of the of death, danger yes. zone. <laughs> Who do I give it to? The leak, George. Surprise her husband. Okay, I didn't know if I gave it to the wife or the husband. Oh yeah, yeah. You give it to George. It's, he's the wheelchair oh, it's guy. My favorite thing. Is it your favorite? Yeah, he loves oh, leaks. Fuck. He's it onion says boy. Bring it to Evelyn right there. God damn. Oh, you're supposed to bring it to Evelyn. <laughs> That's okay. He loves them, so you got like hearts with him. It's probably because I'm drinking potato lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> For the birthday stream. Oh. I missed what you said in the middle. Something. Oh, potato aid. Potato Black aid. Lemonade. Oh. Mm -hmm. Some vegetables, some fruit. It like, all I heard was the aid part. So I thought you did Gatorade. My headphones every once in a while, they cut out. Um, so I thought you said like Gatorade. And, but then what you said after I was like, oh no, she didn't say Gatorade. She said something else. Potato aid. That's good. Good. Good idea. You know, I have not drank since the Super Bowl. Did I tell you guys about the ocular migraines I was getting? No. Yes. Still, I still have not been brave enough to try to try uh, to have a drink again I don't to blame see you. to see like if I feel better about it. So oh, yeah, damn. I don't know. I haven't tried yeah, that's again. Hard. Yeah, I haven't tried again. I'm. I just. I'm nervous. Like because I just like I don't want to ruin my whole day. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, Karen. But at some point, I need to try again and see if they're still happening. Because I don't know if it was situational, because, like, we had moved and everything, and I, there was still a lot of stress or whatever. So. Yeah, I mean. Oh, sorry, Willie. I'll still. move. I was going to say, Willie's mad at you. Yeah, he's mad. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Willie. I'm standing in your spot. I'll go stand over here. There, we, there you go. Because of the medicine I take, I can't have more than like two drinks. Otherwise, mm. I get I don't get ocular headaches. That's horrible. But my head starts to hurt pretty bad. Mm -hmm. A lot of medication is like that, you know. But it's confusing to know because like almost all medications is you know don't don't drink when you take it. But some of mm -hmm. it's like actually for real don't, and some of it's like just like whatever. <laughs> I remember I was on a birth control that you can't take um, cold medicine. And I, really? I never read that 20 page pamphlet that comes with birth control. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, you're not supposed to take like antibiotics with any birth control, but I've never heard of cold medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was acetaminophen you weren't supposed to take. Oh. And, I'm, and I thought, you know, that Weird. is such a common thing that people have to take. There's no way that a daily pill would have bad interactions with it. Yeah. yeah. And I blacked out and fainted. The heck, really? Oh my goodness. I've never That's heard like, of that. I had no idea. That's scary. Yeah, I, I definitely. Take well, that's why they canceled regularly. men's birth control. <gasps> oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Men that's can't right. handle it. They can't hang. It's not strong enough. No, nope. not used to it. Yeah. Way. <laughs> Some of us have to be used to it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. There you go. I just had okay. my um. I just had my annual gyno appointment the other day. Um, uh. for the, with a new with a new person. Um, because. They open up a new practice that's actually close, way closer to me. So even though it made me switch oh, doctors, that's nice. yeah. So even though it forced me to switch doctors, I was still like, ah, I don't want to drive 15 minutes all the way across town. So yeah, I went to the you. closer one. And it was pretty good. Like the new lady was nice, no complaints. Um, I just hate doing good. it. Like it's uncomfortable. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's not fun. No. Full nope. disclosure, I cry every time, and I know it's uncomfortable for my doctor, so I warn them ahead of time. I'm like, it's not you. I just habitually cry during it. <laughs> so Is it I'm not? Sorry. Um, it doesn't hurt or anything, right? It's like an emotional. No. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I do. I always feel really bad for them because it has to be so uncomfortable to have your patient cry. Yes, they're probably like, uh, is it hurting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awkward. 
Because oh, for some people, it does hurt. Like, that's a condition <laughs> yeah. like, that you have to get treated. You know, so they probably are assuming that, you know? Yeah. No, it's always fine. That but sucks. I think um, it's like a, like a habit. I don't know. Like, my body, like, that's just how it reacts now. Ugh. Ugh. That's annoying. <laughs> Well, not for me. I just go through it with a doctor. I always feel so bad. I'm like, you're a really nice oh, lady. <laughs> I was talking about for you, but I don't know. I guess oh, not, maybe. <laughs> no, I would be annoyed, annoyed at myself. Too. I would be annoyed at myself, I think. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, here we go again. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Well, now they don't, if you have a good one, they don't make you come back for like seven years or something. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That depending on your situation, you don't necessarily have to do an annual. It can be like every two years, four years, seven years, something like that. I have heard of that. I have not been, I'm not so lucky. I've not been so lucky, unfortunately, but I have heard of that. Yeah, I had um, the great fortune of getting a Bartholin cyst like oh. two years ago. I don't know if anyone's ever had oh, that. No. And no. I got it on a Saturday night. So no. it was a hospital oh. night that there was nobody in the hospital. There was of one course. doctor and they were delivering babies all night. So I just had to sit there until the doctor was available. Ugh. And by the time they got to me, like, I don't know what you could say on Twitch. So I'm not going to say anything, but things had expanded yeah. and swollen to oh, no. really painful. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> that That's sounds miserable. That was a fun surgery. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. It's so much fun. So if you have an emergency, try not to have an emergency on a Saturday night because doctors call in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Just try not to have an emergency. You just don't just or, don't let that happen. Period. Yeah. It's I think it's worse if they don't call in and they just come in drunk. It, yeah. Yeah, that would that would be worse. That would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's it, there's no great way about it. Unless you live in a town that has lots of doctors, and lucky you. Yeah. Yeah, like if you live in the major hospital area that's, you know, close or whatever. All right. Did I sell this too? Yeah, I sell this too. It's getting late. Run. Yep. Come you back start. home. Okay, I sold Come all my fish. Bed, I sold all my fish. Let's see how much money, money, money we have in the morning. Yeah. You can do it, Kendra. I believe Me. in you. Run, run, I, run. I just, I'm home. I just have to get to the box oh, to sell. Oh, okay. Yeah. All of the pickles and jams and Yes. All of that. Okay. I'll make it to bed on time. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not worried. I just feel slow. <laughs> I thought you were still <laughs> running to the farm. Oh, no. I'm on the farm. I made it in time. I just was in the greenhouse. Oh, good. My mining went up. Yay. Level six. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. Look at that number. Hell. Yay. Okay. We can upgrade the house. I'm going to go yes. harass Robin. Robin, Robin, let me in. Let me in. Robin! We're gonna be winos! Hell yeah! We need that basement wine! Get us that basement, please. Oh, and it's oh, raining today. Oh, the spirits day. are mad today. Uh-oh. Yes. Oh, they're mad for me, too. It says luck will not be on your side. She doesn't work on Tuesdays? Lunar, what? are you serious? Is this one of her stupid days? Oh, no. Is this, are you joking? Are you serious? No. <laughs> Fuck you, Robin. <laughs> Robin, Look why do you take the most day. random ass days off? Ugh. Why do they all do that? But Robin's is the worst. Yeah. She no, goes Martin's to exercise. Oh, that's God. right. You're that's right, because it's the exercise club today. Yep. Robin, mm -hmm. let me look at her schedule. Maybe it's different because it's raining. Maybe there's a different rain schedule for spring. You don't think so? I don't think so. Is it indoors? Well, there's okay. here's the Tuesday schedule is the exercise for sure. Okay. The raining 
She does open her shop at 8 a.m. when it's raining. Okay, so we're going to see if it's, if it's raining, it's rain schedule, or if she's going to do Tuesday schedule. It's unclear from the wiki. Great. So I'm just going to open the door at 8 and see what happens. Or 9, house. apparently. Her house opens at 9. So we'll find out soon. This will be the last day. This will, this will be the last day, by the way. When we go to sleep um, from this day, we'll end the game. Perfect. So do you guys do everything you want to do? No. I just want to find this bear to give him some maple syrup. Oh, yeah. He loves maple syrup. I did that one. I just found that secret note. I'm like, okay, better, better go do this before I forget. You yeah. mentioned the bear, and it made me think of Baldur's Gate 3. Have you seen the trailer? <gasps> I saw, oh, my goodness. I sent it to Kendra. <laughs> I'm, mm -hmm. Yep, you yep. sure did. <laughs> the Baldur's Gate devs know what people care about. They know. Yes. Rain schedule. I fuck yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, fuck your exercise class, Robin. It's canceled for rain day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, Fantastic. she's going to get started tomorrow. Thank you, Robin. Yay. Fuck yeah. Oh my we have no money anymore. I but do okay. love that Kitty just sent me the most out of pocket TikToks. <laughs> yes. so happy. I saw that. And you know you know how far it spread? You know how far it spread? I overheard mm -hmm. Levi and Jeff talking about it. Like and they were like, love I don't that. understand. They were like, Why I don't understand why they need to advertise that. That's so weird. <laughs> oh. And I was like, That's because it's not for you, babe. <laughs> Oh, sweet summer yeah. children. Like, <laughs> uh, what else would they need to advertise if they advertise that? Come on. Right. I mean, I know people who are buying gaming systems just to be able to play it now. I believe yeah. it. I believe all the, all, you mean, what, what women want, you know, yep. is Bear Man. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Yes. Hell yeah. Oh, and oh customizable God. dong. I mean, yeah. <laughs> why wouldn't you want to be able to do that? Like, that's, come on. Well, hopefully it's not another cyberpunk situation because you could mm. um, you could customize your your genitals in that. But then there was a bug that sometimes made if you like if you had a cock, it <laughs> there would was like, a make bug. it swing like a ha. It would make it be like outside your clothes. So it would just be swinging around like all the time, um, right. which is amazing. That doesn't sound like a bug. Like a <laughs> yeah, that sounds it's fantastic. A feature. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a bug. That's yeah, it was very funny because um, Levi had that bug. So, like, you know, he was he was very silly, like, making, you know, what he wanted. I think he, he had, like, a star pattern or something. I don't remember, but I know that I helped him with it, and we made it very silly. And, of course, he didn't care until he had the bug, and then he was seeing it all the time, and he's like, yeah. I can't stand this. I can't stand it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> he didn't that's say amazing. that they learned from that, often. <laughs> Yeah. It's That's supposed amazing. to be better and more detailed, and they also made customizable underwear that you can collect throughout the game that matches whatever you choose your private parts to be. Oh, I love that. I love it. That's amazing. Because they know what we want. Yeah, I mean, it's a true, <laughs> yeah. true roleplay experience in a video game. Um, they know. Did you bring the stuff? Yes, Bear, I did. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say in Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, she did there. <laughs> hey there. Hey. Uh, my goodness. I, my TikTok feed has been that. And then for some reason, I, do, I, do, I really don't know how this happened. But I am deep, deep, deep into the band Ghost, Ghost TikTok. Really? Yeah, Ghost I'm like, Okay. Because you have your your priest kink, isn't that right? Yes. Is that my? Is that oh, me? I don't know. That that's has to why. Be why. So it's like, matching that together with the to with give the me band. the band okay. ghost, and I'm like, this is great. I'm so happy. Good, but it's weird. I'm sitting here going, I don't usually listen to metal. This is okay. <laughs> now you do. But it's sad boy romantic metal. It it's you know sad. Satanic, a religious trauma metal. I get. I, don't know. I mean, that's valid. Why not? Yeah. Yes. For the girls. Yeah. yeah. Girl and dinner. It's it's just a horny, a horny satanic metal. It's fine. I am just constantly seeing thirst TikTok for Papa Ooh. Demetrius. 
I got like there's so much ghost lore that I'm absorbing now that oh. I okay great this this is an upgrade from your nightmare furbies so yes it is actually. yeah it is it is an upgrade from the nightmare I'm not complaining <laughs> yeah just or, hey, I'm not complaining <laughs> <laughs> or exotic dancing shrimp I know that was big for you for a while. yeah <laughs> you got so many of those <laughs> uh, that that is still there. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Not a cancer shrimp person is still there. Kendra has the best TikTok for you page. Mm -hmm. I do. I really do. I don't know how I managed it. So inspiring. Mm. Try because that again. It, it's not normal at all. Like, <laughs> I mean... Normal. Because mine, mine is like kind of like that sometimes, but most of my TikTok feed, honestly, is kitty cats, is cat videos. And I know that's oh, very yeah. normy, but I love that nope. stuff. And so that's what most of my feed is. But it's very nope. normy. Yeah, I don't know what I would do if I got more than like two cat videos in a row. I, I think I would be worried that TikTok was broken. <laughs> <laughs> I get them like, uh, oh, so many. Oh my gosh. Because so that's many. not what happens when I get on TikTok. Because <laughs> it's not. Oops, not that at all. I gosh, sent some weird thing. There was just some really weird, bizarre, you know, artistic, artisanal, creepy something that I sent to my sister. I was like, hey, look, ta da 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 da. And she was like, I don't understand what your TikTok is, and I'm scared. <laughs> This is weird. Perfect. This is not, I've never Thank seen anything like this on TikTok before in my life. And I'm like, well, you're not living your best life, obviously. Every, everyone's TikTok is a different experience. Yeah. It was just, you know, if it, I, her TikTok is boring. But yeah. It's probably cat videos like mine. It's not no, boring. It's, it's just normal. No, it, cat videos would be fine. Hers are like the zoomer dancing oh like dance I, tiktoks yeah i zoomer haven't seen those in years i didn't think i was gonna say like, i can't remember the last time i did get ready with that's oh right. get ready with me is get ready with me is but like all the blonde barbie girls who just all look the same it, I didn't so it's like influencer it. like influencer yeah style, it's all influencer me. stuff oh yeah, my like, I don't see any of that. I, I thought that that wasn't popular on TikTok anymore, that no one did it anymore, because no, that's how TikTok used to be. And I just assumed that trend was, those trends were dead. But for these 20 year olds, that's what the 20 year olds are getting on TikTok, I guess. Huh. I had no idea, truly. Right? I just Neither thought that those I. trends, I thought those trends were dead. Like the Zoomers all decided, no, those are for old people. We're not doing them anymore. Nope. Um,. The old people decided, no, those are for Zoomers. We're not engaging <laughs> with them. Uh, That's the only explanation I have. <laughs> the old people decided no more. I guess. I don't know. The only get ready with me's I get anymore is they're not really get ready with me's. They're like political yeah. commentary or like mm -hmm. really messed yep. up story Mother. time. But they're like, yeah. the vi visual is get ready with me. But it's not. The content of the no, video is not get ready with me. Straight get ready with me, straight, you know, outfit of the day posts, and all of these little dancey dances. Wow. Like, like that I just sound boring. My mind Where's the yeah, spice? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. But I, if you want me to mess up your TikTok for you page, just let me know and I can link you the good, the good stuff. I'm pretty happy with my TikTok for you page. I'm pretty happy with it at the moment. <laughs> The only thing that annoys me about it is they, I guess maybe because my age or, or maybe I like watched one one time, I don't know, but it keeps sending me um, clips of like various stand up comedians and rarely oh. are they actually funny. And I try, yeah. I'm trying to like scroll past them really fast. I'm trying to mark not interested on the ones that are really bad, but it won't stop showing mm -hmm. me stand up comedy clips. And I'm like, I stop. I think that somebody paid to have those surfaced. I think that they a brand deal because there's you no. You a reason. lot too? For them, yeah. yes. Oh. Yeah, me too. Because I get mine supposed to be like cryptids. Yes, yeah. and it just started like this year, like in 2023. Like I it, swear that was not all over my TikTok before. And I'm noticing that they get more frequent when the comedian is going to have a show near me. 
Oh, okay. maybe that's but, why. Yeah. Oh, so maybe it's like so. when people have shows in the Charleston area, mm -hmm. it's getting, that's like, it's getting advertised. So maybe it's by my location. Yeah. Mm, the same way that I get like TikToks about local businesses and stuff. Yes. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I that that would be my guess for that. Mm. You know what's funny about the algorithm giving you local TikToks is <laughs> my niece um, has her own apartment and she lives mm -hmm. with her daughter in there, and they started getting she started getting TikToks from her downstairs neighbor who has a TikTok account. What? And the downstairs neighbor was making TikToks, stealing her daughter's like bicycle and driving it around town while they were sleeping. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> and the algorithm was like, you should see this. Oh my like, God. Yeah, the algorithm should. was right. It was right. Oh my the God. What the heck? Right. You should see this. Wow. She was like, hey, could you just not ruin her tricycle? Because. <laughs> yeah, like, come on. Did they know uh -huh. that somebody had been messed? Could they tell someone had been messing with it? They, she couldn't tell that anyone was messing with it. Um, so but, she hadn't like, they broken were, like, it or anything her, yet. Yeah, because they have a shared cute. porch because it's one of those house apartment houses where it's like the top floor is one apartment and the bottom mm. floor is another apartment. Yeah, yeah. And I then they share the porch area. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like the tricycle was on the porch and then like the kid furniture was on the porch and they were like making stupid videos sitting in her chairs and riding her bicycle around. Mm. Wow. Just like, but you're grown people. <laughs> yeah, eventually yeah, they're going to break it. Like it's good that they haven't yet, but eventually like that's yeah. not going to go well. <laughs> I think it'd be different if they were like funny, charismatic neighbors, but they're stupid neighbors. Yeah. All right. That's the end of the Stardew, you guys. Okay. Let me, let's get out of the game. All right. Exit. Get out of the farm. It's not farm time anymore. All right. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for, for coming in and hanging out um, on my birthday. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I know we normally do like an article at this time, but we're not going to do one today because we have another segment planned. So I don't know if you guys Ooh. want to stay in the Zoom or if you want to switch over to Twitch chat or whatever, but I am going to put it on the BRB screen for a second while I go take a break. And when I come back, we're going to open gifts. So, um, so what we're going to do right now, though, is say, say goodbye to YouTube so I can stop the recording. So um, for YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, let Kitty and Kendra know if you liked actually seeing them on camera. Tell them that yeah. they're, they're, they look so beautiful. Yeah, um, let, let us know. Come on, compliment us, guys. Yes, <laughs> and tell Kendra to come back to streaming as soon as she can. <laughs> uh, sure. He's getting so close to being able to like be chill for long enough for oh, a soon. And I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's soon, get it. Soon, soon. Okay. All right. Thank you, YouTube. Okay. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube.